YouTube, it's Carl Moore Music, and I'm back with another episode of More Mics, Please. Now, today's episode is totally different than what I typically set up on the channel. I pulled out four of my favorite FET microphones that I use on vocals and multiple sources just to showcase the tonal palette options that you could have in your mic locker. So let's jump right into some vocal examples, and we'll listen to the microphones, and I'll talk about a few different details. So let's start off with the DA87 from Document Audio. At the time I purchased the microphone, I believe it was about $5.99. And I think the current model, which is the DA87i, uh, is around the same price point, uh, relatively close to it. But the microphone is based off of a U87. And I've always felt like with this microphone, you know, you get out of it what you put into it. It's pretty transparent. So let's jump into a quick example. I do have a pop filter that I'm gonna use uh, just so I don't get a whole bunch of spit on my microphone. So let's go with one last time. It says, I know we've had our share of ups and downs. And girl, I must confess, it's kind of hard without you around. I miss the way we laughed and the love we had. So baby, why not just bring it back? So yeah, that's the DA87. It's got three different polar patterns, cardioid, omnidirectional, and figure of eight. If you like the tone of your room, you know, with figure of eight, you can capture on the front and the back, and then it rejects on the sides. And then with omnidirectional, if you're doing some type of group capture, um, again, the tone of your room would matter. So if the room tone isn't great for you, Leave it in cardioid, but I think this is a good mic for any budget, any locker to get the job done. All right, so let's get into the second microphone in this lineup, and it is the AKG C414B XLS. Um, now, this is an older model, but at the time of purchase, I believe the price point was around $1,199 or $1,099. I'm sorry, somewhere around that price point, but between $1,100 and $1,200, you can pick up one of these microphones. And I like them because it's a workhorse. I've never put it in front of a source that I didn't like. It might not have been the option that like totally stood out. Like, hey, this is my first pick, but it was never the, this can't work at all. Just for me and my sake. So uh, let, I'm gonna sing a, uh, an example. Huh. I'm going to sing an example really quickly uh, to demonstrate this microphone. It's in cardioid polar pattern. And um, we'll go with For the Night by Music Soul Child. Let's pretend for one night that I'm the man in your life and we do the things that lovers do. All the love and you like, I'm sure to give it to you right. Cause nothing's less than special when it comes to you. All right, so that's the C414 BXLS. Um, there are multiple polar patterns. I believe on the documentation, it says it's nine, but it goes through um, uh, omnidirectional, uh, cardioid, I think a super cardioid, a hyper cardioid, and a figure of eight. I believe that that's all there is um, in some iterations of that. But again, I feel like this microphone, it has always been a workhorse for me. It saved me in a couple sessions. And if you added it to your locker, you will be able to get a lot of things done. Uh, it sounds good. Uh, I feel like it takes processing well, and that's important. So let's jump over to the third microphone in the lineup. All right, so we're here on the TLM 49 from Neumann. And this is a, a microphone that I've wanted for some time. Um, I've heard all kinds of things about it, and I've had it in my locker for about three years now, I believe, uh, and I've used it on multiple sources, but I do feel like it is a good vocal mic. When you wanna get the mid-range uh, and a smoother top end, it's got that for you, and it's not super accentuated. Um, so I'll come up with some song example for you to listen to, and I'll pull up my trusty uh, pop filter so I don't get all spitty on this microphone either. And yes, I did say spitty. Um, I never thought that we would ever be more than friends. But now I'm all confused because for you, I had deeper feelings. We both thought it was cool to cross the line 
And I was convinced it would be alright Now things are strange, nothing's the same And really I just want my friend back Said my mind's gone half crazy Cause I can't leave you alone And I'm wondering if it's worth me holding on My mind's gone half crazy Cause I can't leave you alone And I'm wondering if it's worth me holding on yeah so uh there's a sound example of that uh and you guys typically know i've got a full track in the background i don't process the vocals i typically leave the raw vocals i'll try to level match that's about it but today i kind of just wanted to hop into these vocal examples so you guys could hear the mics in action and see what you would possibly be adding to your locker I did forget to mention the price point on this microphone. At the time of purchase, when I got it, I think it was about 1700 bucks, uh, depending on where you get it from. Um, and I think that's on, you know, that mid range pricey side. So it's not at the super top, but it's definitely not a budget microphone. But again, I think it's great for a locker. It's smooth, balance, it works. Um, I think upbeat, up tempo uh, examples, it works as well. Um, yeah so it's a good microphone let's jump over to the last microphone in the setup and this one is pretty special to me because the loud audio fc 387 is in my opinion one of those uh, microphones that falls into that category of um you know desert island microphones if you only had one to outfit your whole entire studio this could be one of those microphones on the FET side of things all right, so this is a great microphone to capture a vast array of multiple sound sources. I'm gonna sing through all three modes, starting with the neutral and the song example that I'm gonna use, or sound example, I guess, is one of my original tunes entitled, My Turn. Let me use my pop filter so I don't get a bunch of spit on this capsule. I often think of where I wanna be. But when will my thoughts become reality? Prayed for someone to share a family. People to enjoy this thing called life with me. But as I greet the early rising sun, I realize I am the only one among those around me who has these elements missing all right so that's the neutral mode small pop please don't hate me we're gonna go to gentle right now uh we'll go with pj morton don't ever leave um hello again let's make amends don't want to pretend anymore like I'm not missing you like crazy. Never mind the other times. Let's start afresh. Just make one promise to me that you'll don't ever leave. Don't ever leave. Don't ever leave me. 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 Don't ever leave. Don't ever leave me, don't ever leave. Don't ever leave me, don't ever leave. Don't ever leave me, don't ever leave. All right, another pop and we're gonna go to the forward mode. Please don't hate me for this. Uh, that wasn't so bad. And you can hear how the top end is just coming right on out on this one. Um. For this song, uh, it's another PJ Morton tune real quick. Um, I believe it says, It's okay, you can be honest with me. I've watched our decline gradually. But neither of us wants to be the one to say it. And now we have this elephant sitting in our room And our love's resting in peace in a tomb But we're acting like nothing's even changed Oh, where'd you go? 
I missed you so. I know you're standing here, but your heart's been gone. And that's the thing that really matters to me. I don't want to be just going through the motions. All right, so um, this is today's episode. This microphone retails, I think, around $17.99, 1800 bucks. It depends on where you get it. Um, but again, it's three different voicings, gentle, neutral, and forward. And it's from Louton Audio. This right here is the TLM 49 from Neumann. Great microphone for your locker. Um, I feel like you could utilize this on multiple sources, even though it's only cardioid polar pattern. Uh, you still uh, are good to go with this if you put it in your locker. I'm going to hop on over to this. It's the C414 XLS workhorse. It'll do the job wherever you need it and however you need it. And then finally, we've got the Dockman, the DA87. Um, again, all of these microphones, let me move it over so you can see me. All of these microphones are super great tools for vocals, but you can capture any source with these. Um, put it in front of it, get going, get rolling. Today's episode, I think I captured all of the tones on a 312 style preamp. Um, there was no other processing, compression, or EQ used on this. Uh, but again, just wanna get some quick examples of these vocal tones and these mic tones. Uh, as always, like, share, and subscribe because there's definitely more content coming. Definitely appreciate you guys for checking out the channel, supporting. Write in the comment section what you think about these different voicings of these microphones. I try my best not to edit too much of this episode, and I hope it's not too long. But as I always say, and I'm going to look over at this other camera, please go out and make some great music.